So, apparently even OBS is getting tired because that transition is not doing what it's supposed to do. Uh, it worked early on, but yeah, there's also a reason I'm not uh, doing the breaks with face cam right now, because, oh, I'm not looking too good when I'm tired. Really not. But, um, yeah, going into our last match of today, let's be honest, it's been a great day, but it's about time that, this, uh, that it's over. Because it's a long day. Um, yeah, Cryptic Gaming, we've seen them versus uh, Free Gains, who in theory had the um, top seeding going in, uh, are still ending up down here in the lower bracket. We are going to see uh, on coastline the Lion and Yingban clash coming out as our third one. Uh, we had a lion at a ying, and I'm seeing the Mira. Ash and Mira. Uh, that is interesting, because this is the first time we've seen Mira banned today, which I don't mind. I mean, I do mind because I like Mira, but it brings me back to when Mira was actually getting banned often. So, starting off with Penthouse Theatre. And hoping no one, nor me, not me, nor the players are actually starting to sleep. We are going to see a Pentos Theater defense with Bandit, Legion, Jaeger, Echo, and Ela, Thermite, Sledge, Jekyll, IQ, and Doka AB on the, the attack. A problem, honestly, problem with uh, long casts, like long in the evening, is that you really want to play Rainbow Six. And it's over because i've already seen three games i'm going to see two or maybe even three games uh with this one i really want to jump into range right now but i can't and i don't want to because i've got this in front of me and this is looking great um yeah final game of today and uh, let's see how cryptic is going to try to defend this they are was it cryptic or was it uh new kicks who went down to the kitchen uh, actually cryptic is now going up to the uh, theater penthouse don't know if I, I i'm really sure that cryptic went down to the kitchen but they are now going down to the uh theater penthouse going to do it like i suppose they were doing it all along or they were do they they were going yeah, to do it all along setting up to defend with a mirror but there's no window Five right here so there's no like actually mirror window going up to that wall not to that wall but that's a great place for Danki to actually sit around and wait with his yokai in hand i'm guessing that this wall will also be opened up at some point it's being closed for now would give yourself a great opportunity to try and the players peek all right that is a great skin Although I shouldn't pay too much attention to that. Terra peeking outside, seeing one player not actually able to get the kill. So that player will now try to rappel up, try to get a kill uh, on Terra. Uh, yeah, Anthony, no problem. I'm casting that. Like, if you want me to cast anything, I'll cast it, no matter how late it is. Um... That's yeah, really no problem. Mortar getting the first kill onto Crope. Quacko getting the refrag onto Mortar. Bringing the all line to a 4v4. Immediately starting off good for both. The refrag will bring it all down to an even ground. Actually, Anthony, if you want me to cast, uh, hop onto my Discord and request something. If you really want to. I'll cast anything if I'm able to. But that shameless self plug, I, I I didn't plug anything like my merch or donations for the last hour, so I'm allowed to do that. But that aside, we are now going back into the game. Maybe not happy already in VIP, we'll take some damage through a uh, new mine on the ground. I really like actually finding the next one, we won't, be, we won't be able to do anything against that. Dopey with a kill against Kveko. Bring this all down to a 4v3. He's moving forward. They're still maybe not happy. Um, but I think it's called just happy. Then, uh, VIP. 
They still want to kill. He is going to spot the Legion on Rhino. Maybe not happy moving up forward. Not going to be able to see anyone. And he really needs his team. Because he's completely alone. Markalik moving up forward. Attack we'll find Dopey. Rhino finding another kill against Happy. Markalik against, uh, uh, again at least finding Dan. And bringing this all down to a 2v2. Which is still a possible round for both. Rhino moving forward to VIP. The diffuser is dropped. He knows that. But we'll take a huge amount of damage. Terror. What is he doing? He's still sitting in the hallway, hoping anyone's going to push him. But Terra, you're completely out of position. Because Rhino needs your help right now. And you're not doing anything to help him. Now he's moving up front. Rhino right on the side. Any enemy players are going to be spotted. One view mine will actually be uh, used. And Rhino moving backwards, finding two kills. And bringing this first round into the hands of Cryptic. I actually need to not scream. If I want to stay in this flat. Because it is, get, it, it is getting late. Um, yeah, but Rhino. Great play right there. Getting three kills. Getting those two kills at the end. You of course knew where that uh, first player was coming from. Because he heard his goo being activated. Him then turning around was, I think, just his way of getting out of position. Because he had to rotate. If he would have stayed on that spot, he would have been seen. He would have been killed right there. He had to rotate and he is lucky at that because of course he's still cautious. He knows he could be pushed from behind and he's go probably going to be pushed from behind. He's going to see the player, he's going to kill the player, he's going to give the first round to Cryptic Gaming. That's the 1-0 gone and the kitchen service entrance now with a smoke, vigil, pulse, echo and a lesion. The Fear Maverick, Sledge, IQ and Jekyll on the attack are nothing too out of the ordinary actually. If I'm honest, they don't really go on to too many breaches, I was about to say. Then I saw that Maverick, who technically you could classify as a hard I breacher. I mean, his torch is called a breaching torch. In practice, you don't really breach with Maverick then. That's just taking too long. But it's quiet, which having a stealthy breaching operator, a hard breacher at that, yeah. Are you not going to breach with Maverick? Uh, so, actually, he's been pushed off. He's now going to be the Capital on uh, Queco. Still, Zephyr and Sledge are going to be picked to soft breach. They don't have any hub breaches, but they don't really need that. Jekyll also going in for Anthox. Five seconds to go. You could technically say that he's a soft breacher because of his shotgun. But, uh, the bomb probably not going to. Rhino, right now, trying to find a kill to the outside. Sitting there is Vigil. A C75 in hands. He's got his KIA. Uh, or K1A. But he's not going to be able to find a kill with it yet. He's actually not getting pushed. Error. Setting up in VIP. He's got Dopey with him. Dopey is just hoping that he can find any one of the enemy players. Maybe not happy. Already up to the window. Attackers the kitchen. The the okay, diffuser. going in around. Probe on the sledge. Also trying to go in. Actually, I see no one going upstairs. Why is no one moving? They are moving. Uh, Antox? Uh, uh, Antox? Okay, this might not be the... Uh, okay, no, he's back. Okay. I was worried for them. But okay, Antox is back. Maybe not happy already on his way in. We'll take some damage through the smoke. At least see the yokai, but not take it out. Well, okay, it's now taken out. But it's still a 5v5. But maybe not happy taking somewhat 30 damage. Try and go in, and that will make his job just a little bit more harder. Dan Key seeing another player will give his position towards Dopey, not risking too much. And that should be the IQ on Markalik. Yes, it is. He will be pushed from Blue Bar. He's still staying in Sunrise, and he doesn't know. He's got one player right in front of him, and Terra from upstairs, who could technically drop down right there. The Yokai will do its job. Akalik will be stunned right now, but the diffuser already planted! 
They use their player as a complete distraction. Get the diffuser down. Mechanic even getting the kill against Dopey. Then bring this all in a 4v4. Mechanic now down to 25 HP. There's one impact coming in. He's getting another kill against Rhino. Quacko getting a second kill as well. 2v3. Danke and Terra now need to work together to try and get that diffuser. Danke already outside. Terra getting one kill. Bringing it down to a 2v2. Trope is upstairs. Anthox is still waiting on the window for anyone to push through. Time's just cutting close. One quarter of the time left and Denki already sitting on the ground. Terror diffusing will be seen by Anthox and with that this second round will go towards free gains. Free gains therefore bring it to a 1-1 with uh, an interesting round for uh, Cryptic to say the least. But a round nonetheless. So a 1-1. Kitchen service entrance, same defense apparently going in for Cryptic. They bring the smoke, Echo, Legion, Vigil. So for now, exactly the same defense. And the pulse on Dopey, so it is exactly the same defense. Zofia, Capitao, Sledge, IQ, and on Anthrox, the Jekyll for the attack. It's a 1-1 right now. And, uh, well, that's not the end of the world for both of the teams. Cryptic is still in there. OP on Pulse 6 picking. He's still waiting on what to pick. And in the end, it's going to be Bandit, which. Uh, really? Okay, it's going to be Jaeger. I was about to say, I didn't really see, like in the last round, a, a single okay, time. I, I didn't really see uh, one play or anything. That would have really excused picking a bandit. Because you're playing kitchen service entrance, mind you. There's not so much you can really set up with a battery. I mean, of course, there is uh, this wall right here and all that. But look at the enemy team. There's no heart breacher. There's not really a reason to pick a bandit. So, of course, it's going to be the Jäger to just try and get behind the enemy nades. If they are going to be thrown, which they definitely three. will be. Toby just setting up Attackers right there. Water also keeping Sunrise safe. He's closing it off. So, what do we work with? Dopey, Terror, upstairs. There's a fifth player somewhere. We've got two on site. Is it fifth one? Oh, there. Nah. Rhino sitting in office, just waiting to be pushed. The enemy team already pushing up front towards the uh, window. Which they did that the last time. They went straight for the window. I, I'd say even nearly ignored the whole second floor. Which uh, will be something Cryptic really wants uh, needs to deal with if they want to, to win. Them not really focusing on anything else than the players going in. Because Cryptic had three players just focus on Markelik, who was going into Sunrise Bar, of course. And three players focused on one just enabled uh, the rest of the team to get into a 2v4 and try to plant that diffuser. Which, of course, they won the round, worked pretty well. Happy trying to see if anyone is going to come from upstairs. Akalik finding the click against Dopey, bring this to a 4v5. That's the Jäger gone, but lucky for him, he of course already planted or placed his ADS. I'm always about to say ADS systems, but no, it's uh, ADS. Because it stands for systems. We call it AD systems. Terra getting up front through the hole that is just right in front of him. Of course, that hole will be peeked through, so he will take so much damage. On the other hand, Yes, maybe not happy, also taking some damage, but it's more, hugely more on Terra's side. He's down to 30 HP, he really needs to be careful. Markalik also down to 35. He's now droning in, trying to see if he can find the Legion who's playing in Hookah. His drone will spot him out. That means Sunrise is nearly open. That hatch, of course, open. He's trying to see if he can find Terra through that hatch. He, he will make himself uh, clear. 
He will show that he's th there, but he won't get any kills. Maybe not happy. Already on his way inside. We'll find the kill against Mortar. Bring this all down to a 3v4. Another kill going in for Danke. Finding the Jekyll. But he's now completely alone. A 1v3 is at least able to see where the IQ is coming from. But maybe not happy. He's already pushing him. Finding the kill and bringing this to the 1-2. Three gains. Getting the lead uh, the second round into the game. Uh, the third round into the game. Which for them is looking pretty good. Question is can they maintain, uh, maintain that lead? Can they hold it long enough for them to win? Red Dick now playing the Pentas Theater defense again. It's been two rounds. They can do that again. But if they win, this is the last time we are going to see that. And considering they were only able to win one round, that round on Penta's Theater is might be not the first half they are looking for. Because if they win this, yes, 2-2. But if they lose the next one, of course, their enemy team is going to sit in a 3-2. Their enemy will be free gains. We are just looking for the win of this match. Bandit, Legion, Jäger, Echo, Ela going in for the Penta's defense. On the attack, I've definitely seen a Jekyll. There's a Maverick, a Thermite, a Zephyr, and an IQ. So the IQ probably is to be down in the kitchen. Get those batteries that will be thrown by Mortar. There's not really anyone on uh, the free gun side who can deal with the batteries as well. I mean, yes, of course, you could stand down there and just spray up. Would work. Probably will work. But for the time being, they've got the uh, IQ. If there are ever going to be batteries at that position, mind you. But for the time being, they've got the IQ. It is more than enough. So, Mortar, you still have four shock wires. And he's going to try and spawn peak. Outside peak, see if he can find anyone. Which is not going to happen. He still has four shock wires. He might as well use them. But he's downstairs. You need to be careful, Mortar. That uh, maybe not happy. Can't easily get through there. Mortar's position already known. And he needs to check his back. And really hope that anyone can come down. And help him, which for now doesn't seem to be the case. Not unknown CCTV, just making his rounds on the first floor. I really want to know why he still has four shock wires. Because, like, that doesn't seem too clever. You normally just take. You normally play place those shock wires, like take one with you, and like four. Maybe not happy, we'll soon realize that the wall in VIP is definitely not trapped by, by a battery. You can easily get through there. Scanning. Stay sharp. What I find great to watch is Markalink. Because he's just going in alone, completely on his own. Of course you can do that with IQ. He's a 3 speed, she's got a strong loadout. I mean, like the gadget might not be the strongest but it's doing work mortar now coming in from behind question is is the bandit going to be stronger than the iq markalik still staying alive he's going to come around he will see the bandit and in the end it's going to be mortar with the stronger bandit because it might not be because bandit is actually stronger but mortar did have the drop and for now i'm thinking why hasn't he picked a recruit because his, his batteries are still in his hand. He hasn't placed even one. I mean, of course, you don't really need to place them on too many positions. And you don't have to place all and all that. But why do you have them if you don't place them? Maybe not happy getting the kill against Rhino. That's a two for one trade. Because in the meantime, two kills are going to go onto the uh, account of Cryptic Gaming. So free gains now sitting in a 2v4. A yokai right there in VIP will take out maybe not happy. He's at least stunned for some time. Needs to try to defend himself. Actually, that uh, blood looked quite like a human being. Probe and happy. 
still alive in a 2v4. They know where one player is. That's the Ela Terra still alive. Will fall now. Crope will fall, and now it's all down to maybe not happy, who is not even able to get one exothermic charge done. Dopey gets the last kill of the round and brings this to a 2-2. So I didn't really get why they didn't plant those batteries but on the other hand they didn't need to because uh, happy wasn't even able to get into vip um if you're playing as free gains maybe you should try to get somewhere yet yeah, most players sitting outside some players trying to go in on their own makalik in the ca uh, in this case which sure do it makalik of all or rq of all operators should do that pretty well but the rest should try to go in a, uh, on their with with their team try and take some positions try and hone into the side what they just did was stay outside the side and get killed one by one also maybe two players trying to get into vip maybe three to just open up that wall or try and take the hallway or maybe both didn't do anything of the uh, of that Yes, of course, you are going to win, uh, lose that round. Blue bar, sunrise bar, now the next defense for Cryptic. I've seen a Legion, an Echo, Defenders and a Jäger. There's also a Castle and a Smoke. The attack, still the Twitch, Capital, Slash, IQ, and Dokebi. Mortar, now setting up with his Smoke. A Banky right behind, or right with him. Now just setting up Terra. It's Castle. Just holding off anyone coming from the IP. Thing is he doesn't have enough reinforcements, so if it's going to be the sledge. I mean if it's going to be sledge in VIP he's just going to blow through that uh, reinforcement anyway. So uh, yeah. That reinforcing doesn't give you too much, does it? But could still be useful in the long run. Dopey, Terra, all now in Billiard and Hookah. Mortar downstairs together with Dan, who's right now sitting in uh, Sunrise. Rhino. Right here in fun room next to CCTV. The Legion trying to see if he can find any one of his enemy players. Of course, Terra and Dopey, Castle and Jäger. Going to hold off the second floor. Some damage being done by the Legion. Makalik already on his way inside. Will come in from the pool entrance. Will at least see the bomb. Will see the yokai and know exactly where that echo is at. At first, yokai will be taken out. And he now knows exactly that an IQ should be able to see him and will be taken out by maybe not happy. That's the first kill going in for free gains in a 4v5. Cope finding, a, uh, finding another one. Dopey getting the kill against Crope. Actually, both players uh, trading themselves. They are going to be able to trade, and this brings us to a 4v3. Uh, v3. And that is one of the greatest trades I've ever seen, because that's just both players shooting one shot, getting the enemy's head. Perfect. So, 4v3. Maybe not happy to uh, together with Becco. Already on his way inside. They still have some smokes. They will shoot those. Terror on his way inside. Mortis still were there. With his gas canisters and Terror? What was that? Terror actually getting the kill on Mortar. It's now a 2v3. And the diffuser is planted. Rhino already on the side. They need to somehow get around and get the kills against the enemy players and get that diffuser. Them having a team kill. And such a blatant one at that is really not going to help them. They are getting pushed from two sides. Markalik is going in, getting one kill. Anthrox getting the second one against Terra. While well, he's at least taken out Queco. And like this, we are going to be in a 2-3. Probably shouldn't show this scoreboard. And it's the final kill. But 2-3. And uh, at that point, you have to ask yourself. Is Cryptic having trouble with, like, their sleep? Because that kill shouldn't really have happened, to be honest. Because 
you could see you can see where your team is there was no one of the enemy team even close to that so maybe someone is just getting really really tired but it's not speaking for them they are losing that round and they are giving bt3 towards free gains i've predicted that of course the um they could have had that pentas theater and uh, free gains now trying to get this first map into their hands right away echo doc jaeger ila and vigil on the defense for the attack a a b a maverick a thermite is a fear and a glass and mbox already setting up he's got crab right behind him power with his drone just setting downstairs Well, oh. and Quacko and maybe not happy right here in theater. Keep in mind, the first theater defense didn't really work out too well for them. Ten seconds to go. Well, no, 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 actually, I'm getting too tired now. We switched sides. Five seconds left before inserting. The first theater defense for Cryptic did work out Attack well for them. The they only Attack won theater the defenses. I'm getting too tired. I just noticed. Um, so, yeah, they need to be careful that, uh, they all, 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 okay, breathe in, breathe out, they should be able to get this round, is what I'm trying to say, because, well, it's one of the easiest sides to hold. Dopey already trying to get a kill inside Billiard. I click and Antox. Completely unfazed. Will still stand around with 100 HP. Terra at least finding Antox. Logic bomb coming out. Antox position is now completely known. Dopey going in, finding that first kill, bringing this all to a 4v5. Danke, hoping he can somehow find a second kill in Hookah. Rhino, finding a second one again, uh, against Markalik. Probe now still staying alive. He's got Queco and maybe not Happy all on side. Thing is, they are now in a 3v5. They need to find kills without even taking too much damage. Rhino, therefore, on half of his health. Dopey on uh, three quarters. This is still a possible round for them to win. They just need to be really, really careful. Queco, he's got two players coming his way. This might be the opportunity he was waiting for. Also has Croak right with him. Okay, like that's not team. Ah. Uh, so, three players are going in. Dope, he one of them. There's also Terra, who's on the Thermite. There's still, uh, like, Denki, who's sitting back. He's still waiting for his opportunity to go in. Krope now cornered in his corner. Drones coming in, so his position is now going to be known. Logic Bomb going out. His position couldn't be more obvious. He will be stunned. Terra will take out his drone flashbangs. Or oh, smokes going in. And that's one Dokey AB. We'll try to at least take out Crow. The Yokai of Echo will do some work. Crow getting the first one. Terra. Queco getting the second one. Crow will at least be taken out. But this is now a 2v2. Rhino getting the next kill against Queco. And now it's all down to maybe not happy. He's got his Yokai. He doesn't even need to push them. He's got two Yokais on side. He just needs them to plant the diffuser. And this is still a possible round. For free gains. The diffuser is going to be planted. Maybe not happy. Just waiting. First yokai shot going off. Now just needing to stay alive. Diffuser will be planted. Both of his yokais not able to prevent that. I saw him having two yokais there. Were they out of shots? This is now a bad position for him to be. He, he at least gets the kill against Mortar. But Rhino getting the refrag against Maybe Not Happy. Bring this to you. 3-3. Three, three. And, uh, well. Cryptic getting back. Against uh, three games at least getting the draw. Which, I don't know. 
Didn't he have a yokai there? Did, like, didn't he have two yokais there? He used one? I didn't really pay attention on, like, how many shots he had in that yokai. But I was pretty sure he had two yokais going in there. No, you know what it was? Like, when uh, he tried to save a crow who was cornered right there. He used two shots or maybe even three shots on his yokais. Meaning he only had one shot left. That is so unfortunate for him because one shot more would have won that round for three gains and we would be in a 4-2. But Cryptic able to get that round and bring this to a 3-3. That is really unlucky for maybe not happy. And I am pretty sure that he is not going to be happy about that. That is not even a maybe. Like, there's no way he's going to be happy about that. Uh, Quacko, maybe not happy. It's setting up for now. Actually, getting ready for the defense. They've got v VIP right here. Ten seconds to to maybe try and hold that because there's still a thermite on the Five enemy team. And they need to reckon with that. Because Terra can't get through too well. Because if he does, he'll just blow open A that wall or B that wall. And, well, they are in. It's probably going to again go towards A. Because somehow, the whole uh, day, we have only seen teams focusing towards A side, towards theater. We have never seen anyone going in towards B. If we did, they went in through the window. Never has anyone actually tried to attempt to go in from VIP. Which is interesting. A complete shift to what I have seen the last seasons. And I'm asking myself, is it just because I'm casting like Benelux teams the first time? Or is it always attackers. going to be like that in this season? Question is why? Rogue right now on Jäger. Trying to hold off, trying to get some kills in. At least going to see the drones. Dopey! That kill was dope. He's just outside, just randomly shooting through the wall and getting that first kill. Dopey now trying to get a second one. Cryptic starting this round off strong. Becco coming around, getting dopey, getting this all to a 4v4. He's right now. Just waiting on anyone to push forward. Logic bomb coming in. Okay, quickly defusing it. And there's the thermite. Terra actually going in from VIP. VIP is open uh, is open up there, and he can try to use that to maybe find a second kill. But for now, he won't. Mortar dropping down. Terra already on his drones. They still have 1 minute and 10 to go. That's more than enough time. But the I'll problem is maybe not happy because he still has, I think, two yokais. And... I don't know. Actually, it's just one yokai. I think. But I really hate that you can't see that. But that yokai has two shots. And if they let the time run out for too long, that one yokai is more than enough to win the round. Markalik. Still on stairs. Still trying to see if he can find uh, his enemy team. Anthox on his way inside. He's in hallway hoping he can find anyone in VIP. He's going to see one player deal at least some damage. Terra turning around. Maybe not happy. Dying towards Mortar. That's the yokai completely out of the game because Echo is gone. That yokai is going to give them nothing. Terra planting that diffuser. Of course, he's going to be seen by the yokai, but that's yeah, going to right. give you nothing. Two players already into theater. There's one player in there. Quacko is going to fall. But Antox getting one kill. Makalik finding a second one. And now it's all down to a 2v2. Terra and Morta. The last two players alive on the uh, attacking team. And on the defensive team it's going to be Makalik and Anthox. And both players are actually below half of the health. Anthox is more than just red. He's completely flashing. Morta is at least going to die. And now it's all down to Terra. He's trying to hold from VIP. He's got a strong position to do so. Two players pushing up front. Markalik getting the kill. And with that, the defuser should be defused in any minute now. And this is the 3-4. Three, 4-3 four. Four, three gains. Which, going into the late game of this round, I really didn't expect to happen. But they really did it. 
they turned that out so well and that looked good that looked really good them being in a 2v4 was it or 3v4 just being able to turn that back around in a 2v2 using two players to get the uh, the glass and then finding the thermite not even getting one on the diffuse no using both players to find the thermite that looked promising that looked well played that's a well deserved 3-4 and that means we need three pl uh, three rounds in a row for cryptic to be able to win this round on map without it going to overtime which is possible if they win two rounds they of course save them or secure themselves at least the overtime but if they win three in a row they at least get the overtime which of course they want to do Morta now switching from IQ to Glass. We've got Maverick, Sophia, DoKB, Thermite on the attack. Mute, Queco switching from Echo to Echo. Legion, Jäger and Maestro for the kitchen service entrance defense. Attackers need to locate Hold on, let's see how this bomb. is going to pan out. Maestro going into the four Anthox. I mean, he's not the best operator IMO, but he could work. Like... For example, for service entrance, setting him up, he, he's really getting with that one evil eye so much view out of there. And I mean, if you're playing uh, Kitchen, as the attacker, you're probably going to try to heavily depend on smokes. So, of course, it's just clever to pick the Maestro, uh, the, uh, yeah, Maestro, actually, to try and counter that. He's not going to deal so much damage, but I mean, if they are getting a glass to counter that, why shouldn't they? Actually, come to think about it, like in the last season, defenders got their first uh, glass, so to speak. They got their first operator that could look through smoke. This time, this season, they get their first operator that's getting a shield. It's a first for the defenders. Completely. Like, I feel like the defensive operators are right now just copying uh, what attackers have. Or are probably going to do that. I don't know if that's necessarily a good thing. But, I mean, it could work. What I like is that it's not a complete copy. Legion. Right now with Krob on site. If I've seen it correctly, yeah, that's four players on site. It's just one player roaming around. That's Markalik, and he's just sitting in Sunrise. He's even closer to them, or he's Attackers also close to them. Problem is that's four players all crammed into one room. Markalik is going to be spotted by Rhino, who is going to use his drone to get him out of position. With that, someone should be able to pick up front. Someone is actually trying to do so. As three do drones all onto one Jäger. Makalik, this is bullying at this point. He's at least getting that next drone. Bringing this to a 4v5. Anthox finding the kill against Doki. Makalik now spotted by one logic bomb. Tower trying to go in from upstairs. Makalik still staying alive. Anthox getting the next kill against Terra. 3v5. Defense for now is looking really good for free gains. Banky trying to make his way to the office. Makalik is still being spotted by the uh, by the logic bomb. Like if you really paid attention to that, I think when I switched to mortar, you could even still hear it. And thugs. Now back on side, he knows exactly where that glass is coming from. Mortar taking some damage will do even less to Anthox. Well, he's got two players with him. Danke trying to flank around. He's in main lobby. Trying to just come around behind the defenders. The service entrance is now what we are going to attack. We've got Mortar with his smokes. Those smokes will be immediately thrown. Markalik finding the first kill against Reiner. Danke coming from behind, at least finding maybe not happy. He's now been stunned by the Yokai. It's a 2v4. Danke on his way inside will find the Echo, will be down on the ground, and now it's all down to Mortar, who's at least finding Quaker. He's in a 1v3, needs to plant that if he's there, will be seen by Anthox. And I've said that Maestro might be next to useless, but now the Maestro actually getting the last kill into the round. So, a uh, 
three five a map map point not a match point a map point for free gains who um well are looking good at this point because uh they have two rounds to try and uh win this first map and keep in mind the next round we are probably going to see a theater D again we should be yeah yeah we should be seeing that again so even if blue bar sunrise doesn't work if they can successfully pull off the theater defense a second time cryptic will lose coastline our first map of well our first map of the last match of today well technically because it's now well three minute delay for you five minutes past midnight uh first map of today as well Defenders, protect your bombs from being this is the latest attackers. I've ever been casting anything. Uh, I mean, it's worth it because all games right here are so close. And I really, I'm going to tell you, if you missed Cryptic against uh, New Kicks Turbo or New Kicks Turbo against Diversity, um, watch those games tomorrow as soon as they are, uh, are up on my YouTube. Follow me on Twitter to see when they are going to be up. Those were some pretty impressive games really if you want to see impressive rainbow six if you want to see close rainbow six this tournament is perfect or this relegation is perfect this league is probably Five going to be to perfect go. for you and uh of course those uh vod's are going to be perfect as well so the fast defense we've got probe and well this probe upstairs is the legion we've got anthox maybe not happy markalik and quacko Downstairs, Markalik actually on his way upstairs. Probe right now, just waiting on his enemy team to come around. First door will be opened. Probe will pay attention towards it. He's ready to just try and get the kill. He will deal some damage to Terra. Terra will lose 25 HP. On the other hand, Probe, he's already nearly down to 50. Which, indeed, isn't looking good for him. Logic Bomb coming in. Markalik getting one kill against Rhino. Dopey already on his way inside. Markalik will defuse that Logic Bomb in any minute. Then keep running in. Finding Markalik. Markalik will know that as well. Immediately just change positions. But there's still Dopey. Dopey is just waiting on Markalik to make a mistake. For him to spot him. Dopey on his way in. Markalik. With his back turned toward him. We'll move sideways and find that kill. Perfectly executed by Markalik. Anthrox getting another kill. And this is now a 2v5. And I don't think Danke and Mortar are going to be able to deal with their enemy team in this 2v5. So we should be seeing a 3-6. And uh, our first map going in for free gains. Well, but Mortar and Danke aren't giving up hope yet. They are trying to do their best. Yokai will find Danki. Danki will at least hear one logic bomb on the lesion. But Krobe will take him out in the meantime. And now it's all down to Mortar. 1v5. He needs to get an ace for his team to still be in this round. And Makalek finding him getting the last kill. I don't know how many kills he had there. But 15 at the end which is impressive so 6-3 on our first map of today our second map is going to be border gains actually getting the first map completely for them and i'll see you all back in just a minute when i'm setting uh, set up perfectly and we are going to see our second map till then just a short break i am i don't think i'm going to fix the position anytime soon no why um, yeah, till then, just a short break, and I'll see you back in a just a minute. All right, and we are immediately, like I said, I'm not going to get that transition fixed. We are immediately going into our second map of our last match. A thank you goes out to Soft and uh, Stateside Wall 00, zero who uh, followed half an hour and an hour ago this season. Uh, notice that for now because i'm tired that's my excuse for everything now um thank you very much uh so second map of today 
three gains actually after a 6-3 on coastline leading charge 1-0 and uh, are now trying to win on border to um yeah get uh or finish this day once and for all for that they just in huge quotation marks Border. Ying IQ Mira already out. We are going to see that last one, which is maybe going to be Clash. Yep, that's uh, angry looking face is going to be banned. Like I said, I didn't like how Clash is looking. Like, make a smile at least. <sighs> like, Honestly, she's the only operator with an expression. Look at Lion. Look at... Sm well, Maverick's got an expression. Ma Honestly, that expression is uh, something I don't want to talk about. So, for the defense. Ventilation, Workshop, Smoke Echo, Castle, Lee, and Jaeger. On the attack, Thermite, Maverick, Sophia, Jekyll, and Lion. Um, Smoke Echo, Castle, Legion, Jaeger. Something has changed, I think. Like, Krobe and Makalik. Did something with the operators, but I'm not sure what. We definitely saw the lesion before. Maybe it's just switched. Fletcher going for Rhino is going to switch off the Maverick. Which honestly, you don't have to do that. Because like a Maverick is still a good anti-utility for the attackers. Because I mean, in that case, if we're going to see this wall, if you're just opening up the lower layer of that wall with Maverick you can see as soon as there is going to be a battery placed and uh, take that out immediately and secure anyone who's going to try to bandit trick you on the other hand if you're trying to play Thatcher you are going to immediately take care of the um Batteries without having the risk that you are going to be attacked from the other side. So I guess it, of course, it's a two-sided coin. It's a double-edged sword. There's not really anything right or wrong with anything. Markelik, Krob, uh, setting up from upstairs. Going to hold off the enemy team. Maybe not happy. And trucks also getting up there, the maybe now. not happy, still downstairs. Echo actually now playing as Yo uh, as Echo. Which, I mean, technically, as Echo, you mainly play as uh, on your yokai, so you might as well say playing as yokai. Uh, before, it was maybe not happy. He's now playing as smoke. Markalik, setting up another Legion Goo mine. Getting pushed from behind, that's the Zippy on Dopey. Actually getting rid of that first uh do mind. Should be able to push through any minute now. He's got two players right beside him. One's Markalik, who's right now just expecting him to come. And Anthox, who's just hoping that Markalik can save his back as long as possible. Jekyll will find one player. And that is going to be the Jäger on Anthrax, but he's staying safe for now. Thing is, he's getting pushed from two sides now. Because Markalik is going to die there and he is going to find two kills. And Cryptic are actually going to bring this to a 3v5. Getting two kills immediately into the round. Maybe not happy finding the second one, or the first one for him. Onto Terra. Rope as Castle will be spotted as well. Will we'll make his way onto the side. First hatch will be opened. Krobe needs to be very careful. Got his team with him. We see people or players dropping in the back. Echo just checking if you can maybe see anyone upstairs with his yokai. Krobe will be spotted by one drone. There are players right there in that office. Krobe will use his skill and aim to get the first kill against Rhino. Bring this all down to a 3v3. And just like that, this round immediately swapped sides from being a perfect round for Cryptic to, well, again an even ground. Cryptic now with all three players in Teles. There's a player right there in the bathroom. Krobe just waiting for them to make a mistake. They should be heard. 
at a player sitting right on the other side of that wall. 30 seconds left to go. Mortar will blow open that wall. We'll try to see if he can find anyone. Cracker finding the first kill against Dopey. Bring this all down to a 2v3. Maybe not happy trying to come around from behind trying to find a kill. There's still Crow staying alive. One smoke coming out. Mortar as Thermite trying to make his way on side. But Crow still on the other side of the wall. Getting the kill against Mortar. Maybe not happy using a smoke to find Danke. This is now going to be the 1-0 for free gains. You play this really well. That's it. Um, yeah, I really liked what they did there to get the 1-0. Like, they had the uh, castle in the bathroom. And I was thinking, what is this castle going to do? Because he's now getting pushed because of his castle barricade. But of course, if you're going to push him from right behind that wall, that castle could just jump out there and get you while you're planting the bomb. Or oh, defuse at that point. I mean, Mortar, nice effort trying to get that kill. But even if you have, or would have gotten that kill, I think Rhino was it. Was no Rhino's on your team. Uh, Queco was it? Someone was still alive to try and get the kill against you. So, I mean, at the end, time was just not enough. So free gains. Fair play to get that first round of today of a border. And keep in mind, they also got uh, Coastline covered for them, which was a 6-3, I think. Uh, yeah, free games is looking strong. And if they win border, yeah, Cryptic is not going to be happy, of course. But if they win border, they are going to win the best of three. And on Coastline, they looked like the stronger team. Like, the first six rounds was really close. Both play, uh, teams head to head. And then Free Games just said, come on, it's getting too late. We're winning those three rounds in a row. Brought it up to a 6-3. And, well, that's the first uh, map we've seen today that hasn't really gone to all full 10 rounds. Of course, it's still nine rounds, but still. Now, for Border, Cryptic needs to hope. And of course, we want to see Clubhouse as a third map. I was really confused that this tower is uh, something you can play in, but no. No games meaning uh, telling me it is on the roof. And Box right there, setting up, trying to get a kill right away. Uh, right away. Markalik immediately getting the first kill against Rhino. OP on the other hand, already down to 25 HP. Fox needs to be careful because he's got Dopey right behind him and Dopey could push out at any point and get that kill. Error coming up front. Markalik. And Fox just dropped down. We'll see that first player. We'll find that headshot against Dan. And Dan was full health. Now it's all down to Dopey. It's down to 25 HP. Question is, is there anyone right there in CCTV or have they given that up completely? Because they have, meaning they are now down to customs and supply with every one of their four players. So, uh, like, Cryptic could now try to get in to CCTV, to try in, uh, to try and get in from upstairs. Dopey is doing that right away, is trying to open up the floor, maybe not happy, we'll find him from down below. And there are just so many mistakes in the game for Cryptic, like staying on the just opened, uh, staying on the just open floor. There's so many mistakes going in for Cryptic. I really think they are too tired to play, or uh, to continue playing. So, TV4. Mortar, together with Terra, the last two players alive. Are trying to find some kills. Mort is coming around, will be seen by Anfox, and that's all down to Terra in a 1v4. He needs to get an ace to do this because he's gotten one kill already. Finding the kill against Anfox is now trying to get the remaining three players. Uh, because I've seen that in the chat, no, this shouldn't be for seeding. 
The winner of this match is going to move up in... Let me check after this round, actually. Let me just comment that there's Terra. Now in a 1v3, he will see the bandit right in front of him. Maybe not happy. Will take some damage. Terra, of course, got the diffuser. He's got 10 seconds left. The yokai will do some serious work on him because he can now not plant the diffuser. Crab finding the last kill and bringing the 2-0 in the hands of free gains and free gains is looking so good yeah no way that cryptic is going to win those next two rounds let me just quickly check uh because i am pretty sure i've got it right in my head uh um uh yeah, um, so both teams, seeing that they are in the round of four, number two, meaning the lower bracket final, actually, or semi-final, both teams are playing for a spot in the league, in the Benelux Winter League. Um, which, uh, if you're winning this, you're going to get the spot. You're going to be one of the four players in the league. If you're losing this, I think you are going to move up to the um, fifth place decider. It's a tournament on Friday, like in two days. Yes, uh, and the winner will be the fifth team to qualify for the league. So this is not uh, for seeding at all. This is to get your hands up in the uh, league right here. Yeah, so uh, the losers of those games are going to qualify for the um, fifth place match. Thing is, I don't know, because the uh, first team to qualify for the, uh, uh, the to, to win the lower bracket semi-final won it because of a default win. I don't know if that still qualifies the losing team, the... Um, Forfeiting team for the fifth place of yeah fifth place match. I mean it probably will. Wouldn't know why it wouldn't. But okay. Um. So all in all, right here, both teams are playing for a spot in the league. But if they lose, it's not the worst thing in the world because they still get to play for that sweet sweet fifth spot. Anthrox now sitting as Valkyrie in CCTV. It's getting pushed by uh, multiple players from multiple sides, but I'm not actually sure from where, but he's quickly and swiftly making his way back into Armory Locker's archives. Interesting thing is, they are leading 2-0, and they are just now getting to play Armory Locker's archives, which for many teams is the first side they're playing. This is interesting. And maybe not a good sign for Cryptic. Mortar now on his way into CCTV. It's still a 5v5. They still need to try and get those kills. Is there anyone roaming around? No, Markadek and Office, but that is basically it. Some damage will be done to Rhino. At least finds one more Black Eye. And now Mortar's exothermic charge will go through. Holding off the hallway to just keep Markalik into place will be Terra, but Markalik not even moving. He's got Anthox right with him. They could technically move out right behind them, try to get a kill, but they won't at this point. Dan Key coming in from right downstairs with his drone. Could actually try to do that as well and try and get a kill right there. Dopey using his nade to find maybe not happy, and he's definitely not going to be. I made that joke before. Well, it's late. Terror and Dopey finding another kill. Dopey, an absolute legend. Mackay, uh, Makalik at least getting the click against Terror. Hope still staying alive. Smokes are going to be thrown in. And now it's all down to Trope in a 1v4. Rhino getting the last kill on Makalik. Trope now somehow needs to find those last four players. We'll find the first one. Two remaining players are going to be spotted right there in the corner. One's going to push. Mortar will fall. Krope is still in this. He could still try to win. Finding a second one. And now it's all down to Dopey. Dopey moving immediately out of the way. The diffuser is still only half of the way done. 
He could easily try to get that kill. He will see that last player pushing. He will find him! Remember when I said that Dopey was an absolute legend? Krope is an absolute unit. Finding four kills in a 1v4 clutch. Krope. Oh, this is amazingly played by him. Amazingly played. It is really sad for Cryptic. Because I really want this to go to the third map. Although I am completely tired. I want this to go to the third map. Cryptic there losing their third round is not a good sign for this going to the third map. Um, it is really sad for Cryptic. Because they lose a 1v4. They are already tired. But so is free gains. But this is tearing apart their morale. While free gains is just getting a complete morale boost by that. Cryptic might actually be screaming at each other at this point because that is not something you want to be in. I'm not... I'm actually thinking they aren't going to be screaming at each other because, I mean, why would they? Uh, Attackers need to locate but and defuse as many bombs as they can. If you are, you should quickly stop that because you still have a shot in this and we still want you to have that shot. Brio, um... Yeah, they don't even need to win all rounds in a row. They don't need to have six flawless rounds at this point. They don't. So they are still in this. Ventilation workshop. Our next defense. We are again seeing Anthox playing this as the uh, castle. And, uh, well, an interesting addition to castle would be giving him, like, one or two castle barricades more. No, I'm, I'm, I'm a complete... No. That's a dumb addition. I, I would have said having those uh, big doors cost two barricades. But at the end, not every map has two doors, uh, two, uh, has those double doors. Nor do any maps have enough of those to actually justify that change. So just leave Castle as what he's right now. He's good, he's balanced. It's too late for me to do any, like, real decisions. Ah. Still going to play rank. I'm going to end up in silver at the end of the day. Well, Markalik. Now, down in Armory Locker's archives. Already, Mortar is going to breach through that exothermic charge, is going to jump in. Rhino doing his work with his EMP nades. Actually didn't even need to do that. I don't know why he did because there's no bandit on the other side. But I mean it's getting rid of some utility. He knows where one player is. The MP unit will come in. Markalik, just a minor inconvenience for him. Because his uh his scopes won't work at this point, but his position is known. Some team damage going in on Terra. Danki and Dopey finding one kill each. But still they need to get downstairs. 3v5, maybe not happy dying, I was about to say. Remember, last round started out as well, but maybe not happy got a kill really early on after they got into a 3v5. He will be picked up by Quacker. Now not all hope is lost. It's still a 3v5. Crope sitting in workshop, just waiting on them to push. Maybe not happy, already back up. Quacker finding the kill against Rhino. A 3v3 and Summer... It looks like Free Games is going to be able to do the same thing again. And I've said that the first round, and I'm going to say it again. This round completely turned again. Because it went perfectly well for Cryptic. They got two kills going into it. And then those two refrags will happen. Mortar, just hoping someone will push out that window. Try to get a kill against him. Terror still staying upstairs. Maybe not happy needs to be careful where he's going to be moving. Crow? That doesn't work. Throwing one lesion mine, getting up the other one. He's being seen by the E1D, but another kill by uh, maybe not happy. Will bring the diffuser down to the ground. It is mortar just completely on the ground. Crow's position should be known. He needs to be careful. Maybe not happy. Finding the kill against Danki. And Mortar's is already on the ground. It's all down to Terra, who's now in a 2v1. We'll take some damage to the gas. We'll die to that gas. 
And this is now the 4-0. Oh, and actually, Crope getting the kill on Mortar with his goo. This is so unfortunate. Getting two kills with the gas and one with the goo mine is just not how you want to end this. And three games now on the 4-0 train. And they are just looking to get and instantly secure their spot in the league. So, customs inspection. Bandit, Echo, Legion, Jäger, Castle going in for three gains on the defense. Thermite, Sledge, Jekyll, Lion and probably again the Thatcher on the attack. Yeah, I mean, they bring up the Bandit. You might as well go to the Thatcher at this point. Again, for the uh, defending team, we are going to see the... Uh, probably going to see the uh, CCTV defense. I mean, it is half past midnight, so I don't, I don't think we are going to see new players to the game. But I'm still I'm going to explain it in case ball. someone is new to the game and doesn't know why um, Free Gains is going to play CCTV or they played up here in Armory last time. Because you in general want to have uh, the high ground. You want to stay up there. You want to. Um, hold the floor above the uh, objective. You generally do that in uh, on every map. On this map in particular, you're lucky enough that two, actually three sides, all three sides downstairs, are covered upstairs by some hatches. So you can immediately drop down if you need to. But good thing on keeping the uh, upper levels for yourself is you can try to flank your enemy by moving down without being spotted you can try to get a drop on your enemy by actually seeing where they are coming from using the hatches or the open ground to get a kill on them and you can try to completely surprise them by dropping through the hatches and of course if your en enemy is going to get the hatches there are breaches on your enemy side if they are getting the second floor for themselves they are opening up the complete floor and will indeed kill you and this is why you really need to keep an eye on that first floor you just hold it as long as possible seeing that i'm completely tired i would take all that i've said with a grain of salt uh, salt because at this point i'm not too sure what i've just said uh it is getting too late for me but I mean, next time I'm just going to bring me some coffee going into this game. I completely forgot to do that, meaning I actually wasn't able to stay awake at this point. I didn't also expect it going so long. And Fox going in from behind, getting the kill against Dobie. What he doesn't know is that Danke is now trying to come in from behind, getting the next kill. And Fox could have tried to get even more kills right there, but he didn't because he didn't know. Terra getting another kill against Mac. But I really think that getting tired is not even only my excuse because I really think that cryptic gaming can really have uh, or use that they are tired as an excuse because most of the mistakes they are making is really looking like they are completely worn out and tired because those are mistakes they didn't even think of making uh, like on, in our first match against New Kicks Turbo. So, yeah, problem is it's getting late. What are you going to do? You could try to reschedule the match, which they didn't do because I didn't think they thought they was you know, were going to be so tired. But yeah, this is something they now need to deal with and something we need to hope that they are going to... Uh, better till the end of this map and they really need to do that right away because it's far or now they can't afford to lose two more rounds even one more round because if they lose one more round they need to be uh, completely flawless till the end and th we definitely want to see that third map Quacko on his yokai trying to see enemies pushing in rhino finding the click and maybe not happy they are immediately dropping in Quacko just staying alive not even using his yokai to try and block off that planted diffuser will be killed by rhino but actually that diffuser isn't planted because crow gets a click it's mortar oddity 
I think he did. I think he did. He got the kill against Mortar. He was planting the diffuser. Oh, that is so unlucky for Cryptic. Just getting the time so low. And the biggest problem with having a low time is an echo. And then you kill the echo. And there's another player killing the diffuser. Oh, that is so unlucky. But that means free gains is now going to move up into a match point and they get one complete half of match points. Cryptic now needs to win a flaw or get a flawless half. They are going to start this with a bathroom Talas defense. Valkyrie, Bandit, Jaeger, Echo and Castle going in. They bring a Thermat, Sophia, Thatcher, Capitao and Lion. Well, in this 5-0, it's a match point. And it's going to be a match point till the end. Till the end, until Cryptic can win five rounds in a row and get to the overtime. Then okay, they are going to have one the round that is not going can. to be a match point for anyone. And it's just sh such a hard task to get a flawless half. I mean, yes, of course, free games did it. Uh. If Cryptic is going to do it, I don't know. Like, I really think the breaking point of uh, Cryptic was around the 7th or 8th round uh, on Coastline. Like, they had a really close Coastline game, and after the 7th or 8th round, it's just gotten out of hand. And we are seeing how it's getting out of hand right here on Border. If we're getting Coastline in here, they've won, uh, lost, I think, 8 rounds in a row now. And uh, free games is just looking to make it nine. Dan Mortar now downstairs trying to hold. They've got Dopey, Terra, and Rhino upstairs. And uh, question is, how is their enemy team going to respond? How are they going to attack? Markalik, Anthox, and Crope all trying to move in from ventilations. So they get a quick game in here. Like, they immediately try to rush the inside of border. They immediately try to rush their enemy team. Well, it's not rushing, but they try to play it fast. Bomb located by Three attack. players fall in ventilations. They at least find the bomb. Because they should have known where it was before. Anthox. Sitting on his drone. I think Anthox stopped working before, didn't he? Yes, he did. But this time he's uh, there again. I don't know why he's doing that, and that's all five players coming in through bathroom. E1D coming out, maybe not happy finding one kill. 4v5. They know there's another player right above them. And Pucks at this point just trying to get the kill. Will be taken out by Rhino. Mortar will be taken out by Markelik. This is now a 4v3. Rhino still upstairs trying to see those players in the bathroom. He will find the kill against maybe not, uh, against maybe not happy and bring us to a 3v3. Quacker with another kill will be taken out by Rhino. And Rhino's now completely alone. 1v2. His position should be known because he's just gotten two kills. There's one player in the workshop and that player is Crope. He will see him dropping down. Rhino now down to 25 HP. Crope will kill him right there. And with that, this is GG well played. Three gains are able to win a flawless second map, a flawless border, a 6-0. And uh, well, that's a quick map to uh, actually stop it right here. I, actually, I'm going to give I'm right here. Um, transition is still backed out. I'm going to give you the cam, although I think I look really tired. Um, yeah, that's it for today's. Um, what was it called? That's it for today's. Uh, ESL Rainbow Six Benelux League Winter 2018.